Hello, hello, and welcome once again. J76NY here, and we are with our Bristol Beauforts headed in to possibly hit a submarine. Possibly not even see them. Who knows? Anything can happen in the Solomons. As we've seen, uh, we're not in a bad position so far in the uh, campaign. We're getting pretty close to uh, getting our flag planted on Guadalcanal and getting Henderson's field built up. We do have supplies inbound uh, fuel as well. So we're going to work on building the airfield up and stopping the Japanese from doing anything silly. I really don't think we're going to see anything here, but thought I'd start the episode out in a little different manner with some action or some nice shots of these uh, lovely looking planes flying around aimlessly. Well, there you go. Ah, uh, hell. <laughs> I did load them with bombs, so... They are ready to go. We'll get them over there in case these, uh... This first flight... causes them to come to the surface. So they are on the attack. We have ourselves a little submarine. Here they come. Dive planes are down, so I'm assuming this is going to be a bust of an attack. But they are coming in pretty quick, so... We can hope for the best. Hope for a kill on our first, uh... Adventure in this episode. There's their bombs. Doesn't look like the sub's going to make it under the surface in time. And we hit them pretty good. So, down she goes. We'll see if she sinks. And she does. Very good. Very good. Okay. So that's a positive start to the episode. Always welcome those so we can return you guys to base. And take a look at the, the uh, overall strategic situation here. Uh, Guadalcanal is very close to falling. Uh, I do believe that with the next round of troops that's inbound. This is a supply convoy. Uh, these are the troops that are coming in. Get them up and in. Uh, we've got a supply convoy down here that's uh, waiting for... Actually, I think this one's heading up. Uh, supplies... And a few more troops. As far as what we have to send up to Henderson Field, we've got a ton of supplies. Enough engineering and fuel to get us where we need as far as the engineering and fuel goes. Uh, we are almost there on fuel and engineering. It's not looking too bad. Uh, Enterprise Battle Group is tore up, to say the least. They're going to have to go back, but I'm very reluctant to do it because uh, we do need some form of air cover in here, uh, even though the building uh, or the increased level of airfield from Guadalcanal is going to give us a bunch of uh, options as far as air cover goes in the uh, slot. I still would like to have a carrier in here. Unfortunately, she doesn't have much to uh, offer us, so... She's going to have to go back. North Carolina and Boise are going to be released for repair. 
Uh, we do have our cruiser group in the area. We'll probably get some scouts out from that cruiser group. Uh, we've got our task force one over here. I'm going to get some scouts out and about. Got another supply convoy down here that could take... Uh, let's load them up with nothing, seeing they're not close enough. So we'll get them close enough. I'm going to load them up with... Uh, we might just load them up with engineering and send them out. Once all these supply convoys are kind of in a uh, central location, we will uh, merge them into one group so they can travel in uh, formation, do everything all at once. Uh, the Laffy, not entirely sure what the Laffy is up to. do believe I want the Laffy to join up with our battleship group. I'm not sure why they're going the long way to do it, but we'll get them up there and uh, see what the day brings. September 18th, 1942, day 43 of Operation Watchtower. All right, our uh, multinational task force has encountered a lone Japanese destroyer up to no good, so we're going to take her on. Uh, we've got enough of a force here that this shouldn't really be much of an issue, uh, but we're going to do it nonetheless. We're going to have everybody targeting <laughs> this little Japanese ship. I laugh, but that little Japanese ship can uh, hurt us if we're not careful. Because we do have a lot of destroyers, and they're not the most sturdy things. Uh, so let's identify her real quick. Kamikaze. Oh, there's only one uh, torpedo. There we go. Mitsuki. We can just form everybody up in a line here. I did break them because I was expecting a, uh, a torpedo attack. So let's uh, go through. I don't know how much uh, primary gun ammo I really want to expend on this destroyer, but... We should uh, make quick work of her. I'm not really too worried about this. All right. We're at 11,000 yards out. Twenty-two percent solution here. Get our guns on her. See what I mean? Get our secondaries ready to go. <sighs> 
our trailing ships are quite a ways away, so. But we're gonna open fire nonetheless. Get our speed built up. And we can see her out there. She's already taking some damage. So, almost feel bad for uh, so many ships coming in on one destroyer, but oh, uh, we just took a pretty nasty hit out here. The Lang. I saw that. Lang suffers magazine cargo explosion. So, uh... That could be a problem. Let's get the Lang... Just head her north and slow her down. Take a look at her damages. Critical and critical. We're gonna lose this ship. See what I mean about... One individual destroyer being able to do... A decent amount of damage. And if we're not careful, we're gonna... Yeah. At least gotta get her out of the way. Or maybe we could use her for... You know... <laughs> some form of cover. The sacrificial Lang. <coughs> I'm afraid we're gonna lose the Lang. Let's take a look and see. She's burning pretty good too. Putting up a hell of a fight, but unfortunately I think for her, her days are numbered. Uh, Canabera. We're gonna actually... Have your main guns fire. As, uh... Let's have you come to a stop. Kind of threw our formation off into a bit of a mess here. We can get the damages repaired. We... Yeah, no. Aft guns are still functional, but f her forward guns are not. Uh, I'm going to send her back to the uh, Australian port there and suffers a magazine explosion. Let's have you hold fire. Three your secondaries are still letting loose. couple shots off with the uh, with the Australia's main guns still moving seven knots Another couple solid hits on her probably wouldn't uh, wouldn't take much to put her under. <coughs> Seven knots. 
9,000 yards. We'll put the shots right there. Another magazine explosion, or uh, secondary, pretty heavy secondary. There we go. Not even sure if our, uh, there we go. There's our rounds that we manually fired. Okay, that's one uh, Mitsuki down. Unfortunately, uh, was kind of a trade for the Lang. Check our damages everywhere else. I don't think uh, anyone else took much of a fire here. It's, a lot of our ships are damaged. So. But the Lang is done for the war. Uh, I'm just going to pull out of this engagement and we will send the Lang back to uh, sit out the rest of the war. Alright, back with Task Force 1. We are under attack by a sub. I've started to maneuver our ships in order to avoid the torpedoes. Uh, we do have uh, quite a lot of ships capable of attacking the submarine. So we're going to hopefully dodge with the uh, Canabera, which doesn't look too likely. Slow you down. Uh, Australia, have you come up over here? Uh, Hobart, I just turned away because she's fairly damaged. Uh, Starrett, Perkins, Shaw, and uh, San Juan are all going to come in on the attack. Follow the Australia in. I get you slowed down a little bit so you can pick her up. Set up a depth charge attack. Uh, Canabera might be kind of screwed. Okay, there's the sub right there. So let's have you come right at her nose here. Stare it, we're going to have you along with the Perkins and the Shaw come in on her we had everyone targeting the sub Canabara is probably going to have to go back to uh, Back to the dockyard here. Heavy damage, 70%. Both of her main turrets are offline permanently, so she's done for. So we're starting to take a little bit of uh, damage in terms of uh, our ships here. 63% on the speed, so... Probably not the best ship to be uh, leading the charge here, but she's the closest, so we'll get our other uh, get our other destroyers up into position. Right, we did lose the uh, lose the submarine there when we went to full speed, but we are approaching our position, and hopefully Canberra doesn't sink. Okay, we're going to have everybody... There she is. Just trying to get a little bit closer here. Okay. We are only capable of 16 knots here with this ship because of her damage. We can slow her down a little bit.
146 feet. Eight seconds on this. Pause here real quick and slow these guys down before they go crazy, which they already are. Uh, Perkins. Come in this way. Annabera. Moving up on the target. Standard depth charge run. slightly in front of the sub. Looking good. Launch step charges. to match. Perkins is coming in. Slow her down a little bit. Looks like we dropped behind her. again she is at a dead stop so and we don't have a target now because the depth charges are messing with the uh, sonar but she did sink so all right, let's check on Canabara, see how she's doing. Not very good. Damages that are unrepairable, putting her out of the action for good. So we got one command point out of that, one more Japanese submarine. Uh, if you see here, we're, we're pretty beat up. But they've lasted the campaign, so Gonna split you off. And you are gonna go home. And we did uh, unload cargo on Bottle Canal. And they are on their way back. Uh, we've got more supply convoys inbound. Uh, so far, this is the extent of the. Uh, Enemy activity is over in this area, so I'm going to have to keep a close watch on that. May have to uh, dispatch another group over there to kind of uh, help them out a little bit. Okay, so we did get the notification that we have taken Guadalcanal. Uh, Task Force 24 is on its way up with engineering. Uh, we are going to beef this airfield up as much as we can right now. And then uh, go from there. So, whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Level 2, and 
the rest will have to wait. So we now have a level 2 airfield at Guadalcanal, which gives us uh, 7 Wildcats, 7 Air Cobras, 6 Nautiluses, and 3 Mitchells. So we have some form of uh, air power on Henderson Field, which is fantastic. And here we are with Cruiser Group 1. They had an encounter. I'm kind of guessing it's a submarine, so uh, I've got them maneuvering. Everyone's got their sonar on. Uh, we're going to take a look and see what we can see inbound to us. And there we see the torpedoes. So, McDonough. In New Orleans, you're going to keep spinning. Selfridge. You're going to come down here. Uh, Dale, we're going to have you come this way. And everyone else is going to continue on their courses. Slow down a little bit. Maybe you could pick her up early. Let's make sure everyone's going to be out of harm's way for the most part. Pretty hard to see the torpedoes, so... I have to keep an eye on things and uh, make sure... Things don't head south for us. I did see torpedoes in there. I'm not going crazy. Or maybe I am. I know I saw torpedoes. I'm not seeing things. I swear to God, guys, I'm not seeing things. McDonough, slow down. There we go. Selfridge, slow down. Dale, slow down. Set up our depth charge run. Uh, we'll put it up at and eh, we'll go 10 seconds. All right, so... Hopefully at some point we spot the torpedoes. Let's get you turned around. All right, there's the torpedoes. They are All right, we're good as far as torpedoes go. Let's get the speed picked up with the McDonough. Uh, actually, Dale might not be in a bad position to just come in and do a bow run on her. But McDonough being closer in with McDonough first. Slow your speed, Dale. Okay, bring you in behind her. 
turn in. Eh, this could be a problem. You can come to a stop, Dale. Selfridge, slow down. really just be using the uh, keys for this instead of the mouse moving over to the little control panel over there but hey right she's turning Spinning in a circle. I wonder if she's going to launch again. Never actually seen them do that, but... Doesn't mean they won't start. Oh my god. What the hell just happened here? Where is she? Oh, right there. Oh, we botched that one. Something fierce. Maybe not too bad, I guess. These are going to be way off. It's a problem trying to speed through these... Uh, sub-encounters here. Dale, we're actually going to get you moving. We can get the, uh... McDonough out in front of her. Oops, sorry about that. Didn't mean to leave you looking at some halls. Yeah, we missed by a mile. That was my fault. Why is McDonough only going four? Uh, something strange is up here. Rough seas, but still. Alright, slow down. Crash back, just do it. Launch again. Maybe she'll run right into him. Take a look, see how we did that time. A little closer. 
Actually, not too bad. Like she's running right into him. Where's the rest of them? Did we run out? Oh. Alright. Let's fire some more. Bring your speed up a little bit. We actually have to... I'm in with the Dale. Finish her off. Although those are looking pretty good. Alright, she is at a stop now. And going down to the bottom. Okay. One more command point. A lot of, uh... A lot of depth charges that missed their mark there, but hey. It is now September 20th, 1942, day 45 at 7.38 in the morning. Continuing on. Okay, so our scouts have uh, picked up another convoy. Looks like heavy with the uh, supply ships in this one, so... Uh, let's take a look and see what we have. This is in the uh, South Solomon Sea. Oh, God. Look at that thing. Nevertheless, it's a carrier. Uh, along with a another Congo. Supply. I think that's a light cruiser. Destroyer. Destroyer. Destroyer and heavy cruiser. Uh, so we're looking at a pretty formidable force here with uh, this carrier. Let's take a look at her and, uh, and see what she has. Where we go here. Mm-hmm. A Kitsu Maru class light carrier. And she has nine claws. Okay. Well, it is what it is. It is a threat, and it's a threat that's gonna have to be dealt with. Uh not entirely sure what this guy is up to going way up there but we're gonna keep him in this area the task force one is in no shape to deal with them uh, with the damages that they've incurred and suffered here uh, cruiser group one oh I don't know what to do here Cruiser Group 1 is in a better position to intercept. Uh, I'm going to have them head over in that direction. I've already sent the Enterprise kind of off in that general direction to get them within range of our attack craft. Uh, it's only 8 o'clock in the morning, so um, we are going to have to do something about this here. Uh, let's launch... Yeah, let's launch them with uh, bombs. Why not? We'll have them come out in this area here. Get them moving. Then we'll have Port Moresby do nothing for a little bit. Uh, we do have a lot of uh, air activity down here. So there may very well be something we're going to have to deal with down there as well. Um, let's 
get our wildcats up over the enterprise then we're gonna send some scouts over in that general direction uh, my guess is they are probably heading towards Henderson Field Guadalcanal but I could be wrong so we're just gonna get some scouts up and about Make sure we have some coverage over here. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Your scouts are pretty, <laughs> pretty low range, but we'll have to do. Send you out over there. All right, and then we're gonna see what we can find and uh, send something to deal with them. We'll just do this like this. San Francisco ready to launch. Uh, Kingfisher. P-38s. There's eight of them with some armor piercing bombs. Can we launch from you yet? Yes, we can. Uh, Mitchells or six Beauforts. Okay. Send them up. Uh, Enterprise. One thousand pound. 476 miles. Uh, you're within range. It looks like they're heading in this direction. Maybe we should get Task Force 1 out of here. Uh, you got plenty of range here. Let's keep you in the area. Ignore that. Let's get our fighters in. Okay. Let's make sure she's the same group here. I'm not really too concerned with this carrier here. We've got... Eight planes that can... Do some damage to the, uh... To the battleship. So we'll have them... over like this up okay I'm sure they're gonna have to deal with uh, fighters inbound but Form up in line ahead. All right. Six thousand yards out. We should be good to, uh, start our attack run here so we'll break and attack Let's 
see if we can do some damage to the uh, the battleship here, and then the uh, additional. The additional airstrikes will go for the uh, cargo ships. Let's see how we do. Oh, we got a dud and one hit. Couple hits there. Lost two lightnings. So let's get them all formed up. A strafing run here. May lose all the lightnings, but we do have to make some type of strike on the uh, on the cargo ship because the strike on the uh, battleship just didn't really work very good. So chances are she's not even really he. Uh, yeah, minor. Okay. Okay. Actually, remember to do this this time. Slow them down. And attack. This works out. Wow. I'd say that worked out fairly well. So let's form them up, have them climb. up. See how many of them we can get out of here. What's so the damages on this ship? Uh, critical and critical. Okay, she's sinking. Three. Let's get you down. Turn you around. You're hauling ass. Slow down. And attack. I would be very surprised if they get through all the uh, anti-air fire that they're... This guy doesn't even look like he's firing. Well. Okay. Yeah, that one didn't cause as much damage. Oh, we're going to lose them all. Ah, she's on fire, though. Our lone little uh, P-38. It's up to you, buddy. 
Well, you tried. Alright, check the damages on that one. Oh, moderate and moderate. Splash down. Alright, so I'm going to call this episode to a close here. Uh, we are very close to capturing... Uh, well, we ca captured Guadalcanal. We're very close to uh, achieving the victory conditions. We just need to stop everyone from coming in on us. So, as long as we can keep them from putting troops on the ground elsewhere, we should be good in uh, the next couple episodes, I think. Although I've said that before. And uh, then spend another 20 episodes retaking what I lost. So let's not get ahead of ourselves. Anyway, if you like the episode, hit the like button. If you want to follow along through the rest of the campaign. Uh, and whatever else I do after this with War on the Sea, hit the subscribe. Thoughts, tips, and advice in the comments below. As always, J76NY saying thank you very much for watching. And have yourself a very good day.